Hi, tonight we're checking out the story of Yasuo's Nissan, Yone. Once upon a time in Ionia, there lived two brothers, Yone and his ototo Yasuo. The two were inseparable. They both studied in the renowned sword school near their village. Even though the brothers were close, they were both very different. Yone was patient and disciplined while Yasuo was brash and reckless. Yone was forced to watch over his brother's impulsiveness and keep him out of trouble. Yasuo was eventually chosen to be personally trained by Elder Soma in mastering the legendary wind technique. Yone was proud of his brother, but he had doubts about Elder Soma's judgment, fearing that Yasuo's impulsive nature would make him a poor student. Years pass, and the two brothers become super OP. Yone with his dual blades and Yasuo with his airbending. But then the Noxians showed up. Yone and many other disciples left to fight the Noxians and defend Ionia. Yasuo was forced to stay behind to protect his master. Then one night, Elder Soma was discovered dead, slain by the very wind technique that he taught. Nani? When Yone returned, he found that Yasuo had fled. Either Yasuo had murdered the elder, or he had simply abandoned his post and allowed his master to die. Either way, Yone blamed himself. He tracked Yasuo down, and their swords crossed. Yone's steel was unmatched, but Yasuo's mastery of the wind cut his Nissan down. Death, however, was not the end. Yone awoke within the spirit realm. He met a monstrous, humanoid spirit with a blood-red blade. It was an Azakana, a predatory entity that had long stalked Yone from beyond the veil. It attacked Yone. Yone defended himself but was overwhelmed by its magic. Yone yoinked the Azakana's blade from it and stabbed the creature. Then darkness. When Yone awoke again, he was back in the real world. He had a blood-red sword in his hand and a mask that resembled the Azakana he just faced. Through the mask, he could see other Azakana roaming around the world. Yone now hunts these insidious creatures in an attempt to understand what he has become. And that's how Yone became Yone. The end.